darling, darling of my daydream. Yeah, hey, uh, good week. It was, it was a good week for everybody, I hope. That was a good week. It was a good week for me. Um, you know, every day I get to wake up in, in my RV next to the train tracks. It's really loud, but it's really cool because nobody else is, nobody else wants to live over there. So, you know, I'm like, ah, I can kind of stretch my legs. And you too can live there if you want to join now. Just come on over. Seriously, I, have, I thought about doing like an Airbnb in like the front room of my RV. Like just like, for like the couch in my RV. Really? What? <laughs> but then they get there and they're like, holy crap, man, you got all this room and a water cooler. <laughs> That's right. You gotta get a water cooler. If you don't have one yet, get one. It's awesome. Something about the glug glug in the morning. <laughs> Wait to get my glug glug at night. And then a glug 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 on some water in the morning. Why do, you know they always say like, why am I so thirsty because I drank so much last night? I was like, maybe because you're fucking drinking well whiskey shots at chat room and you know, smoking a hundred cigarettes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bitter. Bitter about that scene, that life. I'm sorry. Don't be bitter. Don't be bitter about anything in your life. It's okay too. It's a natural feeling. Okay, so uh, are you uh, are you gonna be my cue man? Let's just hear it for the guy behind the camera there, Chan, the Chandler, the Burnsiest. I said the words. Hey, um, you wanna hit me? You wanna flip the switch? Oh, yeah. Jim Valley, Jim Valley. Hey, um, uh, I said seven minutes, but it's a little sooner. So, um. Whoa, hey, not, not not exactly yet. Oh, not exactly yet. I know it's okay. We we have this secret thing, Jim. I'm summoning I'm summoning the powers of this is Ghost that used to live here. Okay, and he used to like read a bunch of books and then throw them at people. And they're like, dude, quit throwing stuff, Jim. So this is the tale of the secret of the Ghost Man, Jim. This is the secret of Ghost Man Jam. <laughs> Next time on uh, on my blog, you can read all about that. It's a whole thing. Like, it's a whole thing. Hold on. Jam. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I think I can figure it out. Okay. Jam. All right. Here he comes. The secret. Okay, Ghost Man Jam. This is your new name, Ghost Man. Ghost Man. It's kind of like. Top Gun, you know, you're like Iceman. Do I flip these manually? Yeah, you gotta flip them manually, man. Okay. Now it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Enough of my crappy comedy. Now it's time for the main event tonight. If you will, ladies and gentlemen, your future performer from Fort Worth, Texas, weighing in at 150 pounds, Carly. Okay. Here he is, the man with the plan, Jesse Cage! <laughs> Jesse is going to perform some great tunes for you, so stay tuned. And you can stay tuned. Click below and like everything we do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Cage. <laughs> we get up alone, I'm faking to the bone, I'm faking my whole life just for you. Wide eyed in the morning, tongue tied to my doorknob, outside this morning. Right up 
want my head Vultures are the thoughts I make I should turn them into pets I should try to join the way We could feed on what I'll be I don't become everything I fear that I'm not brave enough to be Then vultures are so good Thank you guys for being here. This is just another special night here in the hood, in, na in our neighborhood, Fairmount Community Library, uh, Dreamy Life Records, Jim Valley Productions, uh, Chandler, what's your thing called? Uh, what? Okay, uh, it's called, um, what? Uh, I think there's like a dot org. I want, it might be a dot org. Um, it, you know, there's, there's just a lot of love in this room, and thank you guys for being here. Uh, you can show that love in a monetary form by uh, check or donation, sent a self-addressed stamped envelope to Peter Gillen. But ooh, I'm just kidding, no. You can put some money in this jar back here. It's really fun. Just throw a couple bucks in. If you had some free beers tonight, please throw a couple bucks in and, and just you know support the scene. You're supporting with your ears, and that's another big thing to do. Um, just to listen and not talk over music. Uh, you go to a lot of places, and you're like, shut up or go outside, side, side. <laughs> and then I figure out that it's just a rat next to the dumpster, and I'm the one that's crazy. <laughs> but that happens a lot. You guys ever think about dumpsters and all the food that's in there? And we'll talk about that more later on my show. If you just watch my little show on the side there. Anyway, I don't have one. It's actually just me talking to myself in, in the bathroom in my RV. It's a sad world. No, I was kidding. <laughs> you hear the train right now? Ka -ka -ka -ka. Uh, anyway. Uh, so guys, thank you for being here. No, uh, I'm going to outro this. Uh, just get it over with. But thank you. Come back next Friday. There's another really great show. We have... That's a good question. Vogue Machine? Vogue Machine? No way. Yeah. Are you serious? Vogue Machine. Oh, this is one of my favorite nice. bands in, in Dallas Fort Worth. Okay, so bring your dancing shoes. And that's right, you can call in. I actually don't ever call. Nobody's ever answering. It's just like putting it somewhere. It's ringing in Jim's pocket of a pants that he didn't worn in like 10 weeks. <laughs> that's pretty true. It still has battery. It, it's like it's like the that's movie actually, Volcano. Yeah, that's actually what's happening. It's Pierce Brosnan. Anyway, okay, but no, come back next weekend and get your dancing shoes on because it's gonna be fun and bring some bucks. Um, any other Dream Life shows we need to prep or, or promote? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. Uh, what about yeah. our anniversary show on February 11th at Shipping and Receiving? Stephanie Donahue, everybody, in a rare appearance. <laughs> Stephanie, tell us a little bit about that. It's like our anniversary show on February 11th at Shipping and Receiving. Yes. We share an anniversary with the library here because we opened on the same day on Valentine's Day. So, you know. Go! It's a day for love here in the library. If you want to join us, then please don't bring someone scary. Because if you did, I would just kind of be upset then. If you came to this place, you better bring some boils like Ben Franklin or Ben George Washington. I'm talking about some bills to put in the cup. Thank you very much. Pico and Pico and signing off here. Thank you very much, Jimmy Life Records. Thank you so much.